Russia is known for its politicians wearing no shirts, hockey, the red square, and baseball? One of the greatest pitchers of all time in Japanese baseball would hail from Russia. His name? Victor Starfin. As I bring back the pawn facts. Good to be back. Woo! Although he was born in Russia, Victor Starfin would come with his family to Japan at a very early age. And he would show a knack for baseball in his youth. His early professional days wouldn't be that spectacular. His early, prof his early professional days weren't that spectacular, but in 1937, things would change. In that 37 season for Tokyo Goijin, he'd have a mark of 28 wins and 11 losses. The next year, he'd go 33 and 5 on the bump. And guess what? He wasn't done yet. Oh no, 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 30 game winners in the majors since 1968. And there have been zero 40 game winners in the MLB since 1908. Three years, back to back to back, of 28 wins, 33, and then 42 in the 20th century. Wow. Wow. That's all I can say. Unfortunately, personal problems and health problems would affect Starfin's life. Due to the fact that he was Russian and his father was a murderer, he was unable to attain Japanese citizenship. And due to xenophobia during World War II, he changed his name in 1940 to Suda Hiroshi. After the war, he'd have one last great season in 1949 with the Dai Stars, who are now the Chiba Lotte Mariners. He would go 27 and 17 on the mound. I don't care what era, more than 25 wins in a season, and you're a legend in my books. Tragically, in 1957, Victor would pass away in a car accident just two years after retirement. His legacy would not be forgotten, and in 1960, he'd become the first foreigner to be inducted into the Japanese Baseball Hall of Fame. Anyway, that's it, that's all. I hope you enjoyed the pawn facts, because I enjoyed doing this for you, and me, and you, and me. If you enjoyed the video, share it, like, subscribe, and comment below. My name is Avery and I am gone. Talk to you folks.